What's up guys, good morning, good morning. Out here in the home gym. Just ordered this the other day. 72 square feet, one inch thick foam. Exercise mats, it's a little softer on the feet than concrete. Little workout collection here. Everything I got. And again, this I've accumulated over the years. You do not need a lot. You do not need much to get an incredible shape at home. Body weight, body weight. Granted, there are some things you, you certain exercises, certain movements, certain muscles you can't exactly target with just body weight. So therefore, get creative. I can't tell you how much of the stuff I picked up used at a yard sale, um, just manifesting. People, old clients giving me stuff, a past client in Chicago gave me this barbell and this set of weights. I've had it for four, five years and I've been crushing it with it. It's, it's my little barbell. It's my, it's my baby barbell. I just picked up another set of these dumbbells right here at a garage sale. Came with these big, thicker um, black weights here, but I can add it on. Gives me more weight. I got two sets now, so if I'm doing one exercise that just requires one dumbbell at one weight, and then I need a set at a different weight, well, there I have it. You do not need much. Look at this. This is a milk crate and a step stool. Do you know how much you can do with a milk crate and a step stool? Don't get me started. These right here, these bands, pull up assist bands. If, the, if there's one piece of equipment I would say to, to pick up, it's not dumbbells, it's not a barbell, it's not a bench press setup for your home gym, to live an optimized lifestyle, to become a home fitness beast, that is not it. I would say, this is it right here, over the door frame pull up bar and a set of pull up bar assisted bands. Pull ups give such incredible strength development. And with thick bands, you can do a lot on the pull up bar and off of the pull up bar. You can wrap, you can be in a push up position, you can wrap the bands like around the hands, around the top side of your back on the other hand, and you have resisted push ups. You can do curls, you can attach them to that pull-up bar, hold off, and now you can do rows, you can do overhead, try some extensions, regular triceps extensions, lat pushdowns, or they're called straight arm pushdowns. Get creative. If you guys need help, reach out to me. Coaching spots are open. Reach out if you need, if you need that assistance, you need that guidance. But that's it, this is the home gym. Here's a TRX, TRX sus suspension trainer. Again, it's not like I'm like, I'm going to have this great home gym and I'm just going to go out and drop a thousand bucks, two thousand bucks. Get creative. If you're in a place where you can do that, do it. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. I, I say you don't need to spend 50 bucks a month, 100 bucks a month, depending on the gym you go to, where you live, on a gym membership. Because typically how it goes, at least in my experience, it's a little overwhelming, regardless of your experience, even, even if you're a... Uh, if you have experience or especially if you're a beginner you go into the gym and you have every piece of workout equipment all the cardio stuff you got the medicine balls you got the dumbbells you got the exercise balls you got the ellipticals you got the sauna you got the yoga class going on upstairs it's distracting whereas if you're at home and you're in your garage and you just have a couple of things here and you don't have the party music going and all this it teaches you to get focused. Play a podcast. You can create your own atmosphere here. It teaches you to stay focused, to stay disciplined, to stay in alignment with what you're trying to do. Come up with a home workout program. It's, it's so simple. It's simple. But working out, it's simple. It is not easy, of course. There are the days I skip. I hold myself accountable. Today I'm a little sore. Today I was going to do a, an upper body push workout. Right now I'm doing a, um, a push-pull sequence for my workouts. And I do a couple strategic lower body movements throughout the week. Um, in addition, I mean, I just do a lot of manual labor. It really, it really works the legs. And then from there I do mobility work. And it's just kind of a nice, well-rounded, balanced approach. And I feel good. In days I don't feel good, I take note of why. Maybe it's nutrition. Maybe it's sleep. Even though I'd say I pre get pretty damn good sleep every night. It's where all the recovery happens. Recovery do doesn't happen when you eat steak tacos. 
some recovery happens with nutrition. It does, it, it obviously is a, it's a huge part of it, but in terms of recovery, really rebuilding your muscle, balancing your hormones, just resetting your whole being, it is sleep and people neglect their sleep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grind, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hustle, I'm gonna sleep four hours a night and I'm gonna get up and drink coffee. I, I like coffee, bet your ass I like coffee. Organic coffee, I won't go into that, myotoxins and all this stuff eat organic as much as possible. Always organic as much as possible. But with the sleep, honor yourself. Get at least, at least seven hours of sleep. I always try and get at least eight. Eight, eight, I think last night I got eight and a half hours of sleep. Wheelbarrowed 15, I don't know. Ask my queen. Ask my queen, Megan. Probably wheelbarrowed like 15 or 20 loads of compost and potting soil that's that's brutal you want to work out that is insane but get that good get that good sleep get that recovery but this is your home gym create your home gym the training it is simple it is not easy but invest in yourself invest in your education there's so much out there there's so much online reach out to me if you need help designing an elite home fitness program based on what you have based on the equipment you have, the equipment you don't have. I've always said your body, your body is the best piece of equipment. You can do so much with it. And at the end of the day, you're not going anywhere without it. So that's what I got for y'all today. Um, totally last minute. I just finished a little 20 minute mobility workout. Feeling good, feeling good, loosening it up. I'm speaking of coffee. I'm gonna go inside and have a, have a make myself a nice cup. Lots of love. Um, home gym tour. Peace.